guys, what's up? It's me, Priscilla. And today I thought that I would go ahead and teach you how to draw Flynn Rider from Disney's Tangled cartoon series. I love it. Rapunzel's Tangled Adventure, such a great TV show cartoon series. It's on Disney Plus. And I thought it'd be fun to do like a series on how to draw these awesome Tangled characters in this beautiful animation style. So let's go ahead and get started and draw Flynn. The first thing you want to do is just go ahead and kind of like sketch out where most of the majority of Eugene's body goes. So this is just rough sketching. I'm going to start with his head, so I'm going to bring off this side right here. It's very, very angular and very boxy, so I'm going to make like this box. Bring it up, go round it up at the top. So it kind of looks like a big piece of bread at the moment. And then I'm gonna go ahead and just kind of roughly draw his ear and then back behind his ear, bring down this side of his neck then bring down this side. Okie doke. Then I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna bring out one shoulder going out this way and another shoulder going out this way. All right, now it's like, it's like a boxy head and a very triangular kind of body. So we're gonna go in, in this way, then we're gonna go out, we're gonna round this down here. So we go in, and bring this down just a little bit more. And then we're gonna bring down this side, and then we're gonna bring down this side. And that will give us a view of his, like, from his pants and up, so we don't have to draw his entire body. Now I'm gonna jump off to the side right here, so we've got, like, his vest. I'm gonna kind of roughly place where his arm's gonna go here. Same over here, I'm just gonna jump over here and kind of roughly place where his arm's gonna go. Bring this down here. One arm here, and now I'm gonna bring out this one, bring out this arm. Roughly. And I'm gonna bring down this part of his arm, which his hand is on his waist. I'm gonna round off this hand down here, alongside of his vest, kind of sitting on top of his, just sitting on his hip. And this part goes down. Bring, round off this part of his body. And I'm just gonna round off where his hand's gonna go, right here. Okay, we got the basic guidelines down. Let's go ahead and zoom in. Now for his face. So his jaw's kind of going outward. So we're gonna go from his ear and I'm just gonna kind of bring out this part of his jaw and bring out this. Still has a really pointy chin. All right, so let's just go ahead and make an eye guideline. And he's kind of turned to the side so we're gonna bring down that nose area, we got this, all right. So I'm gonna lightly just draw a circle right here off of the side of where this nose line is. I'm gonna jump over here, a little bit off to the side, towards his ear, and make another circle. All right. Next, from the nose guideline, you're just gonna bring up this nose ridge here. You're gonna go down, and make it nice and pointy. We'll have to bring out his face later, but we're gonna bring out that pointy nose. And you're just gonna go in. So you see how I curved up my nose. And you're gonna do the same thing, make a really easy nostril, and then bring up that side of the nose. Bloop, bloop, bloop. And you kind of shade that in, so you see you go out, go straight down like a big old right angle. Bring this in, go up, and then make a nostril. From underneath his nose, you're gonna go right underneath, pretty close to his nose, just bring up that smile line. And make a little bit of a dimple here. And I'm just gonna make a lip line down here as well. So off this side here, you're gonna round off on the line and then I'm gonna go right up just a little bit above. I'm gonna make another dark line, but I'm gonna keep these two connected. So, make that dark line, 
and I'm gonna draw a pupil. Not a smolder, just like, you know, smirky smirk, eyes kinda down. He's pretty laid back. So, I'm gonna round up here. Same thing, you know, kinda keep it on that eye guideline. Bring up this part of his eyelash. And then round down. And another pupil off to the side. So I'm gonna make sure these are on the same level, same thickness of eyelash. All their top eyelash lines are super thick. So keep that nice and even. And then, right on top of this nose ridge, you're gonna go down and off to the side. So you're gonna make this boxy, so I'm gonna make it nice and boxy, go up and bring it off to the side, all the way to the where we started with our our face. And I'm just gonna go right above here, make another eyebrow, bring it up, make it nice and boxy, and go right down. So the eyebrows are pretty thick and boxy, and the eyelids are connected to the eyebrows. So that's just like if one eyebrow go down here, and one goes up. And then one goes up here, and one goes down here. And you can kind of shade those in to show like a different skin color, so they're like a darker uh, shade of peach. All right, now for his face, since we did bring out the eyebrow to the side, we're gonna keep that, but we're gonna bring out this side just a little bit more and go down to that connection. So you can go ahead and get rid of this. His face kind of defeats like all the angular proportions. You know how you draw a regular human face in a cartoon form? That's just kind of weird because it always remains boxy. So I'm just gonna bring this down here and then connect up. And then for his little goatee, you're gonna go all the way to the corner. And you're just gonna literally put his facial hair right on the corner. And it kind of like makes like a little bit of stubble right here. And you just go up, but you leave this skin part open. Just like that. So you wanna keep this part right there. And I'm gonna go underneath here, just gonna lightly underneath here. Since he's got this dimple going on, you're just gonna bring up this side just a little bit, but this one stays the same. So you just bring up this side because his face is actually gonna bring up that. Bring up just a little bit more. Bigger smile, there we go. Then I'm gonna go ahead and give him his pupil and leave a little shine in the eye, leave a little shine in the eye. Him that pupil and he's got these dark brown eyes. Alrighty, typical adorable Flynn. Alright, now from the middle part you're gonna go ahead and we're just going to make kind of like that part in his hair. Now this part's gonna go this way and this part's gonna go this way. So we're gonna keep this part of his forehead here so you can just go ahead and round it down. So this part's gonna go out this way. We're gonna bring it out, go up just a little bit. Curve it in, so we go in, down. Bring it down, out. We're gonna fluff out to that part we just drew. And then we got another part going down. But this part, you're gonna go underneath and bring down one little other piece of section of hair. It's crazy, it's gonna go crazy hair. So from here, you're gonna swoop down, like a slope, go swoopy down, come to a corner. So you see we have this corner here, and then you're gonna swoop down to here, go across that ear that we made, you're gonna go right up to that edge of that eyebrow, go up, and then you're gonna go ahead and cut off, like cut off that section and go right back into that part that we originally created. So go out, make that, make it nice and big part. There, there we go. And then underneath, you're just gonna go swoop right in, swoop in, 
and then swoop out and go right back in. So it swoops out and then into his neck. Now, Flynn has a lot of divisions in his hair like Rapunzel does. Not individual strands, just kind of. I'm just gonna go ahead and, oh, I'm gonna leave the part, but I'm gonna go ahead and just get rid of those guidelines that we made for his hair. Now, this part of the section of his hair, we're gonna leave that, and then he's got another part of the section of his hair going this way. Jumping from here, he's gonna go that way. Another one. And another one going down from that part. And that's all he has there on that side. And then you've got this one going this way, this one going this way, and this one going on top. You can kind of shade in this part and this part here. So it's like a darker shade of brown. And it's a darker shade of brown back behind his ear. And you're gonna fill in that ear, so I'm gonna bring down his ear, make it pointy at the bottom, and go back in, into his chin, so that should be connected. And then you've got a little bit of a sideburn right in front of his ear. Next, you're gonna go off to the side right here, go right below his hair. I'm gonna make one little section going out this way. We're gonna go back behind his little goatee, round it off and into his neck. And then you're gonna just swoop down off to the side and we're gonna go ahead and start making that shoulder. And this shoulder, so from his collar of his vest, you're gonna bring out that shoulder because those, those sleeves of his vest are really pointy. So bring out this part, bring this down. And then I'm gonna make around it off like it's going behind his arm off to the side. Go into his chest. Alright, we'll stop there. We're going to do the same thing over here. We're going to bring out this side of his vest. So you're going to bring it out. So nice and pointy at the edge. Go right back in. Now from here, you're gonna go down and you're gonna go up back into this collar over here. And then he's got his undershirt. So right here at the base of his neck, you're gonna kind of just like lightly draw like where that collar is gonna go. And I'm gonna go and divide it. So it's like a little bit of a V neck, a V cut right there. And I'm gonna bring down the division of his vest all the way down to the bottom for here right now. Now for his arm, you're gonna keep off this rounded part, so nice rounded shoulder, because apparently his shoulder's all the way out here even though it's like here. So here's his shoulder, round it out here, bring it down, and we're just gonna kinda box off this, box it off and go right back into his arm that we drew. And you can go ahead and get rid of these guidelines. Now from this box here, you're just gonna draw a division here, a division here, a little bit of division going up. So you got a little bit of like a curl in here. And this should be just like going in. And there's like a section of it here. So it just shows like a basic rolled up shirt, just kind of like making this box like almost like the end of like a shirt hem, so like the bottom of this. <laughs> All right, for his arm, you're gonna bring, you're gonna go ahead and keep that guideline right there. Same here, you're gonna just widen it a little bit. And you see how I go skinny towards where his hand is because it's creating his wrist. So he's holding an apple. We're gonna keep this boxy shape. We're gonna go ahead and draw like the basic circle of the apple. So we're gonna go back here. I'm gonna start to draw his thumb so it goes out from the side of his hand. You can jump back here and draw the other side of his thumb. So bring out this part of the thumb, bring it out, and then round it in. So bring this part out. So there's his thumb. 
and the rest of his hand you got the pointer finger wrapped around the apple. I'm going to jump on top of that. Pointer finger goes in, middle finger on the side, and then the rest of the hands just kind of masked. I'm going to go ahead and just show that division. And you see he's holding the apple in his hand. So if you got rid of all the guidelines, Everything just kind of flows into each other, and I'll just go ahead and you're just gonna make a line going down from his thumb, make a line on top. You can go ahead and just draw like a stem coming from the apple. Maybe draw off the side of the apple back over off to the side here. Basic shape of an apple he's holding. Now from this arm over here, you're gonna go out, bring it out, so make his Elbow nice and pointy, very angular. Round off that curve. You're gonna keep that, and you're gonna just box this off once again. And you can go ahead and get rid of these guidelines. And then from this boxy part here, you got his elbow boxed off. Round it in to his hand. All right. Now you're going to bring up a curly cue here, and you're going to make another curl going in. And you're going to make a curl here too. So we don't really see much of his hand back here, but we just just see like his wrist going in. So from his elbow, I just swoop in and his hands just kind of tucked here. And I'm gonna kind of skinny up his wrist a little bit more. But it's just his body's completely turned to where we can't see the rest of his hand. Now I'm gonna jump up top to here and give him the designs of his vest. So I'm gonna go ahead and chop off this side here. This side gets chopped off, so it goes chopped right up. Now from the division of his vest, we're gonna go to right here, where we're gonna make a buckle, so we're gonna make a box. I'm gonna kinda curve it upwards. And then, you know, you make like the hook of the belt buckle, and then I'm gonna just make like a picture frame around it. And then that belt buckle, that belt will go straight through. There's the belt. And then above the belt buckle, you got another little buckle of his vest here. Another belt buckle where, you know, his vest. And you can go in, make a picture frame, look, make it look like it's hooks. And he's got another one right here. And then, jumping around, you've got this part here of his vest that has a division of color. So it goes in, same over here, goes in. So like this top of his vest is the same color. And you got these, I don't know what they're called, like real, I don't know what they're called. <laughs> they're all just called buttons going down the sides of his like vest collar. And you want to make the indention of his collar off the side. And then down below his buckle, you're just going to go swoop out. And then swoop in. And then bring this one down and swoop out. And go right back into that belt buckle. And that's the bottom of his vest. Now he's got a little satchel on the side, so you're just gonna bring down, like a, from this left side, you're gonna bring it down, round it out like it's resting on his hip. And this is his pants. I'm gonna round off like a little satchel, like it's on its side, so it's just like round off a little box. Jump in the middle. And there's like a little 
flat part of the satchel. I'm going to make the satchel's band a little thicker. And then from the middle, just bring down this, the middle of his pants. Keep this the same. And it starts to bring out his pants. So we got one leg going this way, and then another leg going underneath this way. And then you can go around and shade, so you got like all these different places to shade, like underneath his neck. And there you guys go. There's how to draw Flynn Rider from Disney's animated Tangled series. I love this cartoon series. I binge watch all of it. I'm waiting for Disney Plus to upload the new season three to see what happens. But I love it, love it, love it. If you haven't already, I do teach you how to draw Miss Rapunzel. So if you haven't seen that tutorial yet, now you can draw Flynn and Rapunzel together. And I hope you guys have a most wonderful day. And I will see you all later.